we've developed a neuropsychological screening tool for um, bringing out symptoms, cognitive symptoms that may be affected after a brain injury. So a um, colleague of mine, um, Dr. David Wright in emergency medicine at Emory and myself developed a uh, portable, uh, very, uh, very light device that is basically a computer board um, with very simple inputs, almost like a, a gaming, handheld gaming device. And there's a helmet that goes on top of the head with a visor and a screen and audio input. So this is an immersive environment because we know that a lot of times um, when a suspected concussion has happened, it's on the sideline, which can be very busy, can be very noisy, um, in an emergency room and in other settings that you don't really have the isolated space to take neuropsychological tests, which when done um, will take you know, an hour or more and they have to be done in a quiet room. So we developed um, DETECT, which um, put, is abbreviated neuropsychological test, and the person has to answer yes or no or right or left when they have uh, questions or stimuli that they're asked to respond to on the screen. And this isn't meant to replace traditional neuropsychological screening or neurological evaluation. It's meant to give more quantitative information to the physician who's making that decision about whether a person's had um, a concussion or not, and also to give guidance to the athletic trainers and the coaches as to what that person's cognitive state is. So the tests actually measure things like reaction time, uh, working memory, information processing, and some of the cognitive skills that we know are affected after concussion. The DETECT is still in development, and we are conducting research studies with football players and other populations in order to, um, to validate its usefulness.